Oh, welcome all. Uh, following on from my uh, video last week about the uh, bits and pieces that I'm going to be talking about with the patrol, the first thing I'd just like to talk about is the uh, Safari Snorkel which I installed just after Christmas and you might wonder why um, am I putting a snorkel on now after uh, 13 years uh, without one. Well, it really sort of just a uh, niggling thing I had in the back of my head that uh, I really did need to put a snorkel on after uh, the rains that we've been having here and the trips we want to do and I also noticed in uh, inside the uh, engine bay that the uh, filter connection uh, with the firewall uh, the foam inside there had sort of separated and was basically uh, not really operating the way it should. For those who aren't aware inside the patrol wheel arch there's effectively a uh, tube that runs uh, from the inlet uh, where the air filter comes uh, into the panel down to the back virtually to about here somewhere on the panel and uh, that sort of acts like a snorkel. There's a foam uh, padding or whatever, a bunch of foam in the end of it to uh, filter out dust and so forth. And uh, that's actually worked uh, quite well over the years going through river crossings and so on. And I'll just show a clip of a uh, uh, crossing at uh, Burgoyne's that I uh, did on the McAllister River quite a number of years ago. And uh, that was without a snorkel. So you can see how, how it actually does uh, work um, in fairly deep river crossings. Now you'll see some black smoke coming out of the uh, exhaust uh, halfway through across the river. Um, it did get a bit of water into the air cleaner but uh, nothing uh, that was in any way damaging. In fact the uh, the air cleaner and the filter system on the patrol works extremely well if it gets water in there so uh, it's not like it's going to be an instant explosion if uh, some water enters into the, the cleaner and it can actually probably take quite a bit of water before it actually uh, uh, becomes a problem and I think the engine will stall before uh, water gets through. Like, like, like. <laughs> yeah, I think his confidence is oh. well done, right? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna make it. He's floating. Just there, he's floating. I went for the Safari for a number of reasons. Um, I could have got one for about a quarter of the price off eBay, one of those Chinese copies. Um, but after doing a bit of investigation and uh, reading reviews on, online and so forth, it became sort of obvious that uh, the Chinese uh, snorkels weren't quite up to the same uh, quality standards that I think the Safari is. Um, the Safari, for example, fits perfectly right along the uh, panel of the uh, vehicle, whereas I heard uh, a lot of the uh, comments about the Chinese ones that there are gaps and so forth in there where it doesn't sit in quite as well probably due to the fact that the uh, uh, ABS material that they use isn't quite as thick that's one of the comments that was quite obvious that uh, it's a thinner material for those who are aware of the Safari snorkels and the Chinese ones um, the bolts that secure the uh, snorkel into the body uh, are smaller they're you know, quite substantial on the uh, Safari snorkel ones so you can really tighten them up very well and the other thing that I noticed uh, looking at the Safari site and looking at the uh, uh, diagrams on uh, eBay and so on is that the tubing that goes on inside the uh, Safari snorkel is diametrically opposite to what goes with the um, Chinese ones. Now I think the Chinese ones are copying an older pattern that Safari used to have which was a plastic or rubber tube that uh, went to the front to where the uh, air cleaner element is and then there was a T-piece or a Y-piece that uh, went inside the uh, engine bay and came out and you had to then connect the two uh, components or three components together from the snorkel and the snorkel itself was different it uh, required two coals to be cut in and the pipe went uh, sort of uh, parallel to the uh, wheel arch itself whereas this one just goes straight in and the one with the uh, new model de or design with Safari is it's a two-piece rubber tubing that goes all the way through and through the hole and then connects uh, with a clamp onto the air cleaner itself and I'll open the engine bay and show you what, what it looks like and substantially different more secure uh, a much much better design than what the perhaps the old design was and certainly what the copies are uh, that are being sold on eBay and so on so that was primarily the reason why I uh, went for the Safari snorkel because I think it's just simply a better design and being an Australian made and sold product it always helps to uh, to buy Australian 
um, as long as the product uh, is worthy of buying and I think the Safari Snorkel uh, definitely fits that bill. So those were the main reasons why I got the Safari Snorkel and uh, why I got a snorkel in the first place because uh, I think uh, it was about time uh, with uh, conditions and so on to uh, look at doing something like that. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, shut off for a moment and uh, open the engine bay and uh, show you how the uh, Safari Snorkel uh, uh, connects in there and I'll also provide a link to the uh, older design on what you have to do to uh, to connect the uh, the snorkel to the uh, inlet and uh, I'll give you a, a link to the actual uh, installation diagram that uh, Safari now uh, provide and you'll see how the uh, the installation uh, differs substantially and the product differs substantially from the uh, the clones that are out and about. Okay this is the uh, interior engine bay side of the uh, snorkel um, I'm not sure whether you can clearly see what's going on. Um, if you can't, uh, have a look at the uh, installation guide and you'll see how the uh, Safari Snorkel actually connects into the uh, air cleaner connection and you can compare it to how the, uh, I think the old version and certainly the new ch or the latest Chinese versions um, connect and what you have to do to uh, make a proper seal. This is in my view infinitely better than the uh, Chinese versions. Okay, I think that was a little bit difficult to, uh, to see, but if you have a look at the, uh, the installation guide, you'll see how the, uh, the rubber goes into the uh, bodywork of the, uh, the firewall and uh, then fits snugly around the actual air cleaner. You don't have to drill the hole out as the uh, current instructions show. You just crimp the uh, rubber end uh, down and uh, you crimp it in with a zip tie and uh, it'll go through quite easily and then connect up to the air cleaner. I didn't do a video of the installation because uh, it took me nearly about seven to eight hours to do and uh, it would have been an absolute pain uh, to try to have a uh, video recording of it uh, in my carport and uh, it just wouldn't have uh, worked out very well. Um, I was cursing and swearing enough as it is because to get that internal uh, metal uh, tube out of there is a right royal pain. I think it was nearly four hours just to get that out and once I had that out it was okay and connecting the the uh, snorkel uh, to, or the internal rubber to the snorkel wasn't so uh, difficult. The big problem that uh, I think that uh, Safari should look at is providing at least some decent clamps because the clamps that they provide are just big enough to go in and I made the mistake of using the 10 mil longer clamp in the air cleaner and it would not then get uh, the standard one, uh, the one which is 10 mil uh, shorter to fit around here so I had to go out and buy a new clamp just so I could get uh, reach to clamp it on. So. That really was the major problem that I had with it. Uh, given the fact that uh, clamps shouldn't be that expensive, I think all the clamps should actually be longer than what they provide. Um, just so you don't uh, can get things stuffed up and uh, confused like uh, I unfortunately did because I didn't fully read the instructions on how to install it. So apart from that, um, it's actually a very, very uh, good installation. It's not very noisy. I tried uh, the snorkel head the other way around because in the bush, hopefully so trees don't catch up in here and they just slide off. But uh, it's a god awful uh, noise coming through uh, the snorkel when the head's the other way around. Um, pointing forwards, you don't really hear it all that much. And I did uh, get a uh, cheap dust uh, filter collector, which uh, I haven't used bush yet, but I've had to sort of modify it a bit because it is the noisiest bastard in the world. And it's the one of the smaller ones, uh, cheap one off eBay. And uh, you can get some bigger ones from Donaldson and so on. Uh, apparently they're a lot quieter, but uh, it's putting a ridiculous uh, Stetson on the uh, end of the uh, snorkel if you're going to put one of those on there. So I definitely wouldn't bother with that. I might try the uh, dust cleaner um, in the bush, see how it goes, but uh, it's really noisy. So it's not something that you'd want to use on the road. So basically that's the uh, story about my snorkel. And uh, if I was to recommend uh, snorkels, definitely I think I'd avoid the Chinese ones, but uh, it's up to you if you haven't got the cash to uh, get the Safari one. But I certainly recommend the Safari snorkel uh, uh, over any of the other products. It, uh, it really is a good fit, um, easy installation, uh, relatively speaking. Um, just a matter of room to get in there and do things. Uh, pulling the bits and pieces, the shrouds and so on out, wasn't all that difficult. And uh, that's nothing to do with Safari, that's just the design of the vehicle. And uh, so otherwise the fitment uh, and the general uh, uh, quality and performance is pretty good. And honestly, I haven't really noticed any difference in the engine performance, nor would I expect it to, uh, because I think uh, all that this is doing now is just uh, providing a different uh, intake uh, source. Uh, and there's no RAM effects and crap like that that people sometimes uh, try to uh, say to sell you a uh, snorkel. So um, on that note, I'll call it cheers.